Well, I was photographing uh, this piece last night uh, using my big camera, and uh, I looked at the base. I was checking, you know, the detail in the photographs, and I realized I hadn't worked on these moccasins yet, and I really had not worked on the base much yet either. So I've got to finalize this base. It won't take long. But uh, it just means I delayed uh, taking this into the uh, foundry. And uh, so let's work on that today. Oh, by the way, I got a new hat from the ship I used to serve on, the uh, USS Lexington, which is an aircraft carrier. And I believe it's docked on permanent display in Corpus Christi Harbor down in Texas. You can actually see it via satellite on uh, Google Earth. All right, just a little side note. That was back in, God, when I, I was on the Lexington from 67 to 69. And actually uh, helped fight a fire in dry dock in uh, Boston. Boston Harbor. Wow, that's a long time ago. All right, let's get to work. I'm going to have to take uh, the Indian off so I can work on his moccasins. One other thing, I forgot to put the, the pupil in this guy's eyes. Oops. Gotta hold on to that. The Cheyenne had a particularly shaped toe on their moccasins, and uh, that's what I've tried to emulate on these moccasins. I gotta figure out how I'm going to put the base with the Native American back into the space I have for him and yet finish out the base behind him. So that's something I gotta work on. I keep my finger out of the way, but I gotta hold the damn base down. <laughs> okay.
So I'll be taking this to the foundry on Thursday. And the reason I have to do it on Thursday is because Friday they're closed. So I either take it for Thursday or I take it Monday. There's really no big rush. They probably won't even start making the mold on this until two weeks into the this month, but uh, I just want to get it to the foundry. I had a, about 30 kids from the, uh, I can't remember what the name of the school was, it's over on the reservation east of uh, Billings, Montana. It's the Cheyenne Reservation, Northern Cheyenne. Come to my studio at the uh, my old studio about a year or two ago, and they all sent me letters thanking me for uh, being nice to them and all this stuff. And uh, they told me a little bit about their backgrounds, about uh, the people they they were descended from, and you don't really understand until you meet people who actually had parents or grandparents who were famous people in uh, Western history. Uh, I had one young girl who was a uh, she said she was related to crazy horse uh, and you know it really gives you pause when you think that child is around and is a relation to crazy horse and you know I, there's a Indian by the name of uh, Blackfoot Indian by the name of Yellow Kidney, who uh, was alive around the turn of the uh, 19, 1800 1900 period, and uh, he's there's photographs that Curtis took of him, and uh, if you look if you do a Google search for yellow kidney blackfoot i mean blackfoot indian uh you'll you'll see his picture wearing a, a fur cap in his picture anyway he was called yellow kidney because when they hunted buffalo and they cut out the kidney if it was yellow it meant the meat was going to be really good and that, that's what they're family name is, is Yellow Kidney. And it's really something when you see a photograph taken by Curtis hanging on their wall and it's of their great of their great grandfather. I just uh, destroyed the uh, rope connection. I got the uh, muscle here just a little too sharp. So I just need to take down the sharpness a little bit. work on this place. Oh man, what am I going to do? I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do. It's basically bring the base up, have it float in the air.
I got to be able to take the engine away from the base and yet have the base have some kind of a finish to it. tool so I gotta go searching for him again. Now this wire tool has a nice serrated edge to it and uh, it'd be perfect for finishing off the, uh, the base. So as you can see, you've seen everything I did today, and it'll be that way. I, I don't want to not share. I just won't share fully. That's all. You'll still see plenty. Plenty of mistakes, plenty of lemons, <laughs> so to speak. I love all you guys, and uh, I don't want to stop sharing with you. I just have to be smart about it. Okay. <sighs> now, that's it for my studio for now. I put a few rocks in the base, but not a lot. Only because I don't want everybody looking at the rocks. I want them looking at the piece. So. All right, everybody have a great night, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.